we are learning to identify the difference between thick and thin questions. This will help you when reading, particularly when reading is a partnership. Thin questions. So an example of a thin question is a little bit like this salad sandwich that's down here. There's not much to it, there's just lettuce in between bread. And there might be a small thin question along the lines of who is that character? When did that event take place? Where are they in the story? So each of those questions can be answered quite quickly without having to give the person who's asking those questions much detail in return. Usually you're only requiring a one word answer and the answer's right in the text. It's a yes and no, or it's a quick, simple, specific detail question and only one opinion really is possible. So when thinking about your questions, particularly when challenging to ask your reading partnerships and questions, try and choose a thick question. If we have a look here at this salad sandwich, you can see that there's lots of layers of different salad in there. It's a lot denser than the thin salad sandwich question. Thick questions make us really think and search for the answers about what we have read, what we have understood, and how we can give the best detailed answer. We might want to ask a question, what do you think happened to that particular character? What if Charlie Bucket didn't inherit the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from Willy Wonka? Why did Grandpa Joe want to get up out of the bed and go visit the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? What would happen if? You can see that there's lots of areas where the reader can challenge the person who's going to answer the thick questions. So it's harder to answer because we have to really think about what we've read and really think about our answer. My examples I gave were using Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Story by Roald Dahl. So there can be more than one possible answer. They can lead us to a different opinion or a different viewpoint. They can make us interpret the information why something happened or a character does something differently. They can make you predict the ending or future problems. And they can make you fill in the details using your imagination. And it also can give you the opportunity to put yourself in the character's shoes. So when you have your first meeting, your challenge is to write two thick questions that your reading buddy is going to answer. So before you come up and visit your teacher at the end of the week and showcase your reading partnership booklet, make sure that you've both got two thick questions that you can ask each other and you can demonstrate you understand the difference between a thin question and a thick question. Until next time.